Good afternoon, everybody. It's 12 o'clock on the dot. Hope you are doing well and ready for the game week 34 deadline stream. Started a little bit later today. I was out doing stuff um, this morning, but I'm ready to go. One quick um, heads up. I am using a slightly different camera. The quality is still good, but it's on a battery rather than a mains plug. So it will die at some point during this stream, and I will have to change the battery probably in about 40 minutes or so. Um, but I've got a spare battery ready and waiting. I've got another one charging, so we should be good. Um, otherwise, uh, I've got an itchy nose, so I apologize about that. Um, otherwise, my transfers are locked in. I've, I did them last night. I, um, I made them last night because it looked like Bradley was dropping in price, and once he dropped in price, I'm going to lose 0.1 million. So I moved early, despite the fact I probably won't need that 0.1 million on wildcard. And in the end, Bradley and Son didn't drop anyway, so I actually didn't save any money, and I probably should have just waited till the deadline. But that is the joys of early transfers. Um, I did what I've spoken about all week. Again, never really trying to create suspense or drama by saying, could I go for this random player? No, I've just gone for the players I talked about all week, which is um, Eze in for Son and Van Dijk in for Bradley. Is Van Dijk super boring? Yes. Would I rather have Trent or Robertson? Probably, but I just didn't want to take the risk on the minutes. And that's about it. Do I think Trent could start twice? I think it's absolutely possible. But, uh, I don't know. In the end, I just wanted to sleep last night. So I thought I'd just go for Van Dijk. I just don't want to keep thinking about it. Uh, so I think the team looks all right. Um, there's some talk about Sarabia maybe having a bit of a groin issue, but he's, he's trained all week, so I don't think there's any problem there. And that's it. No hits for me. I'm going to play hard, and if he doesn't start, or if he doesn't get any minutes, I'm going to have Zabani coming on. The only difference that today could have made was, you know, if we get word that Haaland's injured, I would have bought Mateta instead of Van Dijk. But honestly, it doesn't feel that much that much um, of a difference between the two anyway. Who to play as my 11th player, Isaac Foden or Palmer? Um, the, the, only, the only thing that would slightly put me off Palmer and Foden is they're playing a little bit later. But actually, some are Newcastle, aren't they, as well? Newcastle aren't playing until Wednesday. Um, I'm going to say Izak out of those three. It's all pretty, all pretty close. Uh, Trent, oh, Trent's, there's no chance he plays 180 minutes, but I do think there's a chance he starts twice. Uh, not enough to go. I could have afforded it as well. The only thing is, by going Van Dijk, I've got a bit of money left over. So I could... I could go Sarabia to Elise for a minus four, but I probably won't. I could do Haaland to Mateta for a minus four, but I'm probably not going to. Uh, Haaland and Meniz for Solanka and Mateta and no wild card, no free hit. You're not going to want Haaland back, though. You probably will, right? So I'm not sure I would do that, especially for a hit. Uh, Mateta or Elise for the third Palace place. Um, I think Mateta is more guaranteed than minutes, but I think Elise's a more exciting pick, and I'd probably go for him. Uh, start eating Yuri or Zabani. Uh, oh, it's different, Alex. Um, Zabani, I think. Eight, eight Yuri is not even guaranteed to be in the squad. So I probably wouldn't do that. Um, I, I would play Zabani ahead of Palmer, but that's just me. If you wanted to play Palmer, that's that's perfectly fine, honestly. It's more than reasonable, and I wouldn't argue against against it at all. Uh, triple Palace for lots of people. What a double game week does to you. Yeah, enjoy it because we ain't going to have many double game weeks next year, which I think kind of sucks, to be honest, but um, it is what it is. I mean, there's probably bigger things at play, bigger things that are important here, and that's like the FA Cup replays being scrapped for lower league teams and stuff. It's not, it's not a great all-round situation, especially how it's been handled and stuff like that. I don't really know the ins and outs enough to fully you know, have a proper, proper opinion of it. It's not great. And for FPL, I don't think it's great either. But that's probably the the last thing anyone's worried about. Uh, maybe not on this stream. On bench boost, would you take hits to swap out Aiton Yuri and or Pau Torres for double game weekers? Got Arsenal and Paul, so it would be Palace defenders, no chips left. Um, I don't think having an Aston Villa defender for the rest of the season is really that much of a necessity. Uh, Bournemouth for home is fine, though, so you can maybe keep him this way. I'd swap Aiton Yuri out. I'm not sure he's going to start. I, I, I think it's almost... It's almost definite that he's not going to start against Arsenal, but he might start against Bournemouth, I guess, but I'd probably take him out. Uh, Dubravka to Henderson for a hit. Um, I'm a little bit unsure on that one, if I'm honest. I think it's very close. 
I'd probably do it to get the double game weaker, but I don't think it's one you have to do. If this is the is this the week's triple captain and who? Uh, I would probably go Salah. I mean, it depends what other chips you're using, right? Like you could save it till thirty seven and use it on Son or Harland. You could use it for Palmer next week. I'd probably just use it on Salah right now. What to do with Kivior and Branthwaite? Oh, two free transfers. I'd probably sell them if you've got no other issues. I think Branthwaite's okay to hold. I think he he might start, but Kivior get rid. Uh, Darwin for Harland to fund Van Dyke. Um, probably if you're if you're wild card, definitely if you're wild card and in thirty five, I think. If not, it's a little bit a little bit trickier. As a Swindon fan, the scrapping of replays doesn't affect us that much, but I really don't like it. I mean, so someone I saw made what I thought was probably a good point, but although again, I don't know the ins and outs of it financially, but like. <laughs> If FA Cup replays is what is what is keeping clubs afloat, there's probably there's probably bigger issues there. I mean, there is really, in general, with football, like the the, the top are getting richer and richer. Um, Pickford, Van Dyke, or Pickford, Van Dyke, or Allison Becker, Foden, which combo? I go the double game weekers. Uh, Trent or Van Dyke for a one week punt. I mean, how punty do you want to go? Because Trent is the differential punt, isn't he? And Van Dyke's the safe one. So take your pick, really. I've gone for Van Dyke. <clears throat> all, all I'll say is this if Trent ends up smashing Van Dyke, I think I've only got myself to blame like, I don't think Van, Van Dyke is not a bad transfer at all and look if Trent goes and outscores him by like 10-15 points I think that's a little bit hard I don't think buying Van Dyke is a 10-15 point um, mistake but also Trent like you got Trent as a differential with a double game week and he could start twice I don't know how punty of you are. How punty of an FPL manager are you? I guess. In the end, I just I just didn't want to have to keep thinking about the fact he might not start twice. Really. Uh, Darwin and Lise versus Diaz and Mateta. Um, yeah, if you want to go for the minutes, you go Diaz and Mateta. I think we discussed that yesterday, right? Um, I wouldn't buy players that worry you. I, I just think you're just setting yourself up for a disaster. Because if it doesn't work out, you feel twice as bad. So I think I think a lot of people are going to look at Darwin and Lise versus Diaz and Mateta. If they if they all got the same minutes, I definitely prefer Darwin and Lise. But Diaz and Mateta is the safer safer way around. Uh, is Bradley Foden and Cunha? Is Bradley Foden and Cunha out uh, for Van Dijk, Eze, and Mateta for a minus eight? Worth it? Do you know what? I think it probably is. Yeah, for with a wild card next week and two players that aren't going to play. Probably. I mean, Cunha's probably not going to play the second game either. I think yes. He's out for Haaland and have funds left over. Yes or no? Not if you're not using the, the, the funds this week, I would say. Free hit, Robertson and Elise or Munoz and Luis Diaz. Again, I think the latter is safer for minutes. Um, the former is definitely a bit more exciting, though. I'd be tempted to go Robertson and Elise, but it's not my free hit. And as, like, I think one thing worth saying is, although I'm not free hitting, I am dead-ending which is almost the same in terms of, you know, being able to go for differentials or whatever. So I could have gone for Robertson myself, and I chose Van Dyke. So make of that what you will. Maybe I'm just boring. Uh, I'm I'm a stranger. Thank you very much. And you're not tempted to get in Maniz for Doughty and bench boost. Uh, no, not really. Not for a hit. And the other thing that worries me about bench boost is Palmer's going to play an FA Cup game before he plays against Arsenal. Haaland, we don't have any information on, really, apart from we will see from Pep. It's just not worth a bench boost, I don't think. You hate free hitting, it's such a headache. I, I honestly don't think this... I don't think this free hit is that bad, really, but um, it's also very easy to say that when you're not on it. But I don't think it's that bad, really. I was saying this on the member stream yesterday. You just, like... For most people, there's at least six to eight players that you definitely want. And then the rest you kind of pick by default for how many players you've got left in certain teams. I mean, sure, you might like be deciding between Van Dyke, Robertson, Trent, and you know, Darwin, Elise versus Mateta, Diaz, etc. But it's just, just flip, flip a coin and hope for the best, I guess. I think if I was free hitting, I'd go Pickford, Minaz, Van Dyke, or Trent, or if you want to go punty. Uh, Arsenal defender. And then whatever I showed on the video the other day. Uh, Palmer to Elise for a minus four or start Huang. I, I think I'd be tempted by Palmer to Elise for a minus four as long as you haven't got a huge amount of money wrapped up in Palmer. Otherwise, I just play. 
I'd probably risk Huang. Uh, he, he's got a maximum of 45 minutes. So there's no guarantee he starts the next game either. Honestly, I don't think it'd be the worst call just to play Palmer in your case, but um, yeah, I'd probably go. Can, I take it, can you not do Huang to Elise for a minus four? I think I'd prefer that. Is 8 Nuri to Minos worth a minus four? Probably, yeah. Gusto and Taylor, so Arsenal away and, and Charlie Taylor. <laughs> um, I'd probably do it, yeah. I think I would. If I don't bench who's now because of injuries, I still have free hit and the team looks good this week. Um, yeah, that's tough. Because you're probably going to free hit in 37. So do you have any other weeks where you're going to have a good team, I guess? Good bench, I mean. Would you start De Bruyne or take a hit to start Mateta or Elise instead? Mm, I think I think De Bruyne will play against Brian. I think he'll miss the Chelsea game. Um, but you're on wildcard 35. I'd probably take the hit, honestly. I, I don't know. It doesn't sound great getting rid of De Bruyne for a hit, if I'm honest. But I don't know. There's maybe enough out there where you could you could um, you could do it. Play two of Zabani, Branthwaite, and 8 Yuri, the first two. Can you out for Mateta, minus four? I'm on bench boost. Uh, I would do that, yeah. Glynn, 22 months. Thank you very much. How many hits for double game week players would you say? It depends who they are, right? One, two, three. Who you removing, who you bringing in. Like, I would take hits for Kunya and 8 Yuri. I wouldn't take hits for... To get rid of them, I mean. I wouldn't take a hit for Sarabia, etc. Uh, no free hit wildcard left. Minus four, Foden to Eze Diaz. Have eight doublers. Um, you're going to want Foden long term, so I'd maybe just not do that. Uh, I'm a stranger, thanks again. Uh, played the Bradford, take a minus four. Yeah, I think I would take the minus four, but it's really close. And if you don't, if you don't like the sound of it, don't do it. I think I would probably do it, but there's no guarantee. I don't think because the Bradford's not got a bad fixture. Uh, odds of Branthwaite weight playing both games. I don't know if I'd put them that high, but he was training yesterday, so I'm pretty hopeful he's going to start. And if he doesn't come through okay, he'll probably start the next game as well. Uh, no Harlem news, no. Garnacho to Diaz for a hit. I mean, if you're not wildcarding in 35, I probably wouldn't do that, to be honest. I think Garnacho might be all right. How do you see Robertson's change at 79 minutes for someone that's never played while losing the game? Not really. Klopp, Klopp bought off Salah and Diaz at 65 minutes. Uh, start 8 and Uriel Zabani. Zabani. Free hit 34, then wild card 35. Is that good? Well, if you don't do that, when are you going to use those chips, I guess? I would say you're, you're pretty pretty sorted there. Chances of Trent and Robertson starting both games. I don't think I think one of them will start both games. I think it's more likely to be Robertson. Like, I, I don't know. It's, it's almost like pick your narrative, right? Because... You know, there's only six... Klopp only has six games left at Liverpool. That is it. Six games. There's no other competitions. There's a league to win. Ideally, of course, he's going to want to play, you know, Robertson and Trent in all six of those games. But you also don't... And maybe you do risk an injury because there's so much on the line. Maybe you do risk the injury in this case. I don't really know, but they've just played Thursday, then they're playing Sunday, then they're playing Wednesday, then they're playing Saturday early kickoff. I feel like he's gonna. I feel like Trent's gonna miss one, but it could be in thirty-five. I, I, you just don't know. Uh, FPL Hudson, you remember? Thank you very much, um, Nathan. Thank you very much. Play Palmer or Garnacho? I probably play Palmer at this point on double born with defence. Neto Zabani start one of the Bravka Pau Torres. Uh, I wouldn't. No. Uh, for everyone asking about eight Yuri out for a hit, I'd probably do it. Yeah. He's not even guaranteed to be in the squad this week. I'm captaining Brereton Diaz. He is playing against Burnley. The significance of the game plus playing against the arch rivals of his previous club, Rovers. He will be booed at, but that will fire him up more. Good luck. Good luck. Play one of Zabani, Palmer, Garnacho. I'd play Zabani, I think. Uh, Robertson, Elise, or Minaz, Diaz on free hit. Yeah, I've, I've already answered that. I think the safer play is the latter. The former is probably a bit more exciting. Uh, I'm a stranger, but I think you're probably trying to put a comment, but I think you've got to put more in than that. I think it's just the way YouTube works. Start going actual Palmer. Uh, Palmer, I probably wouldn't take him out for a minus four in most cases. Keller for, he Keller for Hendo, Allison just got banned. If you've got space for Allison, I'd go him. Otherwise, Henderson's fine. Ain't, yeah, ain't Nuri yet for a hit yet. Yeah. Scored a goal today. 
the screen's your name. Okay. <laughs> that sounds very strange. Uh, Son to Eze. Congratulations on scoring a goal, though. Son to Eze done. Nice. Taylor to Minos or Van Dijk. Van Dijk. Would you bring in one of Alisson Henderson Darwin for Neto Harlem for a minus four? I would. No, probably not. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe Darwin. Probably not. Uh, I think there's a chance that Lise starts both games. Is it a big chance? Maybe not. He's only played one game, right? I think I think he's very unlikely to get to like 75 minutes plus in either game. Uh, do a captain poll, maybe, but I can tell you now it's just going to be a lot of sour. On Wildcard 35, the plan is Son, Eze, and Regulon to Van Dyke. Oh, Son to Eze and Regulon to Virgil, Van Dyke, Robertson. But I have Harlan and Huang. Do ha Huang to Elise for minus four or Harlan out to Darwin? Uh, I'd probably do Huang to Elise, I think. And just keep Harlan and hope for the best. I mean, we might get some more Harlan news later on, but it, it's no guarantee. We haven't had anything really right now. Seventy minutes of Elisa could be a ton better than ninety of Matessa. It could be, yeah, or it might not be. <laughs> Get that coin out. Uh, what are my thoughts on Havers? I like him. Like I, I wouldn't. I said this the other day, right? And this is how I view Arsenal attackers. I think Havers has played enough now, where I kind of am fairly confident in his minutes. But if Saka and Odegaard get benched. That's a shock to me. Like if either of those two players wasn't in the next two, it wasn't in, sorry, wasn't in the 11 for game week 34 in either game, that'd be a shock. If Havertz misses a game, that's not a shock. Maybe it's a surprise at this point because, you know, he's played so many minutes, but I wouldn't be that shocked if Havertz missed out. So that's why I've said all week, I would probably like to go for Havertz, but if you want to play absolutely safe, you just buy Odegaard. I think everyone knows that at this point, right? I, I just, as as many games and minutes as Havertz has played, I'm just not sure if I see him as the same level of Odegaard and, and Saka yet. Uh, I mean, there's, I guess there's a chance of Arsenal leaks, but um, they won't be coming from me, that's for sure. And the game's half five. I mean, maybe because it's a half one deadline, but uh, I don't think so. Start three of Palmer, Gaw Foden, Gordon, Harland. Uh, I'd probably bench Gordon out of those. Sarabia and Solanke to Mateta and Eze for a minus eight. I don't think you need to sell Sarabia for a hit or Solanke. <laughs> so, yeah, no. I would just keep both. Is Mikalenko a decent, cheap option? Uh, no, you're not losing it. I think he's a decent, cheap option. Triple captain Salah or bench boost this week? Currently, Ariola, Palmer. No, that, that bench is terrible. <laughs> Sorry to say. Huang might not even start. Ariola, who knows? And Charlie Taylor, like. Eight Nuri to Van Dyke for a hit to avoid playing. That bench will now smash it, by the way. <laughs> Eight Nuri to Van Dyke for a hit to avoid playing double ball in defense. Uh, up the Kiwis Club Biscuits and Green Jumpers. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I think I would just get. I would just bench Eight Nuri and just play Zabani. Like, Zabani's not that exciting, but I think I'd play him rather than take a hit. Which two asked on free hit? Gabriel rest. No, Gabriel's not getting rested. Um, which two Arsenal? Saka and Odegaard, I guess. Saka plus one. Depends whether you need a defender or not, I suppose. Is the Barney or Palmer's answered on screen? You can see from my bench order. Uh, Foden, eight Nuri to Eze van Dijk from minus four, or play Foden and Vardio. Um, also have Semenu. Do I risk it with him? I mean, Semenu is probably going to be back in the squad. I don't know if he's going to start though. I quite like that first hit, Eze and Van Dijk. Uh, I mean, Arsenal defenders. I, I mean, it depends whether you want to play the ownership game, right? Ben White and Saliba are going to be a little bit less owned than Gabriel, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't not buy Gabriel because of a worry about a, a rest. To be honest, uh, I'm a stranger. Thank you very much again. <laughs> Looking for a third defensive option. Got Gabriel and Van Dyke at the moment. Would you suggest who would you say's got five million on free hit? Munoz, probably. Starts a menu over Harden. I'm not sure I would because I don't think there's a, there's no real guarantee that he's gonna start. Um I think if I remember right, and if I'm wrong, someone correct me, but I'm pretty sure 
Iriola said that he'll be back in the squad, but that doesn't guarantee a start. Um, although, who else have they even got fit? Because Tavernier's out at the moment, isn't he? Have a look here. It's having ears out. Sinister is out as well. I mean, Semenu might start if he's back. Um, it's definitely a risk, but I guess he he should start the second game if not the first, right? So maybe not worth a hit. Depends who you buy him. Uh, Cunha to Mateta or Diaz to Eze and Cunha to Darwin. I'd just get Mateta, I think, especially if that especially if that second part's for a hit. Bench boost to Bravka, Gordon. How Torres Maguire or chance game week 37. Well, if you've got no wildcard, what does your game week 37 bench look like? If you think you're going to struggle to get to a decent bench, I would just use it now. We've got two free chances, and Harden and Miniz are out for Solanke and Mateta. And the idea is to finish without Harden and get to Borina. Well, in that case, sell him. Yeah. <laughs> Job done. Uh, I don't think, I mean, the, the hype around Miniz is gone now. Uh, I think he's still a perfectly fine bench option. But he's got no doubles or anything, so there's no there's no massive need to have him in your team. Uh, he Chan and Harland to Eze and Darwin for minus four. Uh, but, look, I'm okay with selling Harland, especially to find another move this week, especially for doublers. But I would just keep in mind how you're going to get him back and whether you want him back, because obviously City have a um, City have a double in 37 right and pretty good fixtures generally. Uh, Erez, eight months, thank you very much. Would you go for double Liverpool defence on a free hit? Um, I don't think I would, but I think it's more than viable. I think it's more than viable. Like If you want to just avoid Diaz and Darwin and Jota, I think that's fine. Double Palace defence enables Diaz and Havertz for me. Sure, if you want Diaz and Havertz, nothing wrong with that. Uh, Isaac Salarin for Harden and Garnacho for a hit. Uh, again, probably because I'd want Salah this week, but how are you getting Harden back? Garnacho or Palmer? Palmer. Trent versus Robertson. I think Robertson's more likely to start both games. But if they do, if they both start, I'd rather have Trent. Um, triple captain Salah 34 or Palmer in 35. I go Salah. Vardy or Palmer first sub. Palmer for me, I think. Uh, where am I? Oh, yeah. What about Munoz? For Pat? He's, he's fine. Um, honestly, like, there's, I don't know, there's about 20 players I think you're, you're picking from for free hit, and if you've got 11 of them, you're probably doing pretty good. Uh, Huang for Palmer, Isaac Harland, or Brereton Diaz for minus four. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm confused now. I wouldn't say I don't think I'll be taking minus fours for Brereton Diaz. So if the question is to play Huang ahead of one of those players, maybe ahead of Palmer. There's a bit of risk there, though. Am I expecting any early team news before the deadline? Um, not really. I mean, the two, I mean, have you have we seen what the two games are at three o'clock? It's Luton versus Brentford and Sheffield United versus Burnley. I don't think many people are expecting team news there. So, if you're looking for other team news, you're hoping for something for a late game, and that's not that likely, really. Um. I think Foden could start against Chelsea, but I also think he'll probably start against Brighton as well. I don't think I don't think Foden's going to miss too many games now. Leaks on the Sheffield United lineup, very unlikely, I would say. Not really something I've ever looked for before, but you never know. Look at minus four for Brereton in thirty seconds before you say, "Look, he's going to be everyone's fun." My my camera is so weird, by the way, at the moment. It's so annoying. Uh, let me just, yeah, that looks a bit, probably looks a bit better. Um, I said at the start of the stream, there's a few less people watching, but my main camera, this bad boy, this is my webcam camera, it's broken. So I'm using a separate one, so the battery's going to die at some point, and I'm going to have to change the battery. Um, hopefully just for this stream, we're getting a new one on Monday. 
Oh, would I sell Foden for a double game player like Eze? I definitely would for free, especially if you're wild card 35. For a hit, it's a little bit less desirable, but I still think I'd probably do it. Thoughts on Captain Odegaard? It's, it's fine, I guess. I definitely prefer Saka, though, and Salah. On a free hit, Darwin or Luis Diaz? I think Luis Diaz is more likely to start both games. So that's probably where I would um, go. This is the toughest week so far this season. Yeah, I mean, obviously it all depends on position. I mean, look, I've um, I've been very lucky with injuries and stuff. Like the way the fixtures for, fell for game week 34, injuries, I've been really lucky. So... <laughs> I've known what moves I was making for this week, like four weeks ago, and nothing's really changed. So it's good for me, but I don't have Kunya and Ain't Nuri and all these kind of players. So I, I understand why it could be worse for some people. I think free hits generally. I mean, I think free hitting 34 is just like any other week. Once you've got the first seven or eight players, you're, you're then just, it's just about fitting in the rest of the pieces of the puzzle. But because you can have anyone you want, People overthink it. Not not even that they overthink it a lot. They just have, they just think about it a lot, and it just it all, you just go around and around in circles basically. Can you please put together a, a week thirty five card wild card variation with no Salah or Harland? I mean, I'll, it won't have Salah in, but it will have Harland. Um, so I, I don't think so. Probably not. Uh, maybe we'll see. The problem is then people just ask for like every single different variant. Can you do one without, I don't know, Son or, or whatever? Or can you go with these two Spurs players? Like, there's only so many variations you can do. Uh, I'll tell you now, Harlan will be in my wildcard team. Unless he's injured, of course. And then it's a different story. Uh, Salah almost certainly won't be. Although if Harlan's not in my wildcard team because of injury, Salah may make it. You just don't know. Uh, is Mubama to Darwin Mateta worth a minus four or don't take a hit and play Zabani instead? I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted to take a minus four and play Darwin over Zabani. To be honest, I think uh, I'm doing. I think the thing is right. Let Let's say you know in half an hour someone comes out reliable and says Harlan's injured. He's out for a month. Then I could also do Harlan to Mateta for a hit and not play Zabani. Would I do that? I don't know. With hindsight, do you think free hit 29 or free hit 34? I'm assuming that's free hit 34. Um, we'll get more points. And would you swap right now if you could? Well, I mean, <laughs> no, probably not. I mean, why? Why? Oh, I don't really want to get into a free hit discussion. Um, again, broken record alert. It's not just about the points you get in the week you use it, right? It's about all the points outside of that. And yes, last week wasn't great for me because I didn't have the likes of Isaac and Gordon, which some people that free hit in 34 would have had. But I think my team before and directly after game week 29 was pretty good. And look at it now, right? I mean, how many how many differences are people going to have on their free hit teams compared to my team? They're probably going to have Elise instead of Sarabia, and they're going to have another double game week player instead of Haaland. But otherwise, I think the rest of the team stands up pretty well. So I, I'm... <laughs> I know, I know people think this is like copium or whatever. I, I honestly think free hit 29 was perfectly fine and it's gone perfectly fine. Obviously not in, in 29 itself. It could have gone better, of course, but it really hasn't been a big deal. Um, I don't think. Uh, yo, yo, BP, eight months. Thank you very much. Have eight double game weekers or nine for a minus four. Is it worth it? It depends. It really depends who you're selling. Um, it could be worth a minus four. I'm doing a minus four. Should I take it for eight euros? Should I take it for Doughty? Or should I just go for minus eight and get rid of both? Well, I mean, if you're having to play both, I would take a minus eight. But if you only need to play one, um, I think I would take out Doughty. If you're playing both, I'd maybe take a hit for both. Uh, member for 19 months per nav. Uh, thank you. Start two out of Harlan, eight, Nuri, and Branthwaite. Harlan and Branthwaite, I think. Do, 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 do. Uh, should Canate be considered? Why and why not? Nah, his fitness is just not. It's just not there. Like he he's definitely not going to start the next three games in a row. I'd I'd almost guarantee that. I certainly wouldn't risk it. Uh, bench boost Neto Zabani, eight Nuri and Palmer for more flexible wildcard thirty five. You absolutely could if you wanted to. Would I 
bench boost that. I mean, my team's pretty close. I don't think Aiden Yuri is going to get two starts. So really, you've got the same bench as me, almost. And I'm not going to do it. Partly because I'm also worried that Harlan might miss out and I might need my bench player. Uh, Har and also, I don't think there's a massive difference between Wildcard 35 with or without bench boost 37. There are small differences, mostly around Arsenal players, probably. Not massive. Um, Harland and Tumateta for free, Wildcard 35. I would probably do that for free, yeah. Here he is, Seb on golf. Um, I've lost that. I've lost that thing. I'll try and find it in a minute. Uh, Hoyland against Sheffield United, a good one-week punt. Uh, as a single game week, yeah, but I'd rather go for a doubler. Cliver as a differential instead of Havertz on free hit. Um, if you want, but I think Havertz is definitely the better option. And Cliver's minutes are pretty good at the moment, though. Uh, Pickford, Munoz, and Diaz, or Henderson, Trent, and Brereton, Diaz. I mean, that depends how differential you want to go, doesn't it? I mean, the, the former three are a lot safer, I would say. But Henderson, Trent, and Brereton, Diaz, you know what? I like it. Nice and punty. Uh, Elise saying Darwin or Mateta and Diaz. <laughs> yeah, I've answered this a, a lot of times now. I, I know not everyone's been watching from the start. The former, for me, is a little bit more exciting. The latter is definitely safer, in my opinion. I'd probably go... I'd like to think I would go Elise and Darwin, but I couldn't promise you I would do that if I was free hitting this week. Uh, free hit 29 was a disaster. The only thing... <sighs> yeah, okay, it was a disaster, yeah. If we can all agree on that, and I never have to talk about it again, I'll fully agree free hit 29 was one of the worst strategies I've ever seen in 12 years playing FPL. And I'll happily not talk about it again. Um, should I play my wild card? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Depends how bad your team looks right now. I would try and not play it in 34, but if you're very low on wildcard players, you might have to. Uh, seven double game week players have two free transfers. Gordon to Eze and Meniz to Mateta. Play free hit or no. That's nine doublers. Oh, you still get your wildcard though. Missing Saka, Havertz and Jota. Havertz and Jota aren't massive misses, I would say. Um... To be honest, you probably, if you're going to wildcard this week, uh, next week, you you don't really need your free hit. You'll get through the last four weeks without it. So you could free hit this week, honestly. But it, it's tricky with two free transfers. If you wanted to free hit, th I, I don't mind using those two free transfers, wildcard in next week, and then free hit 38 maybe. I think it's quite close either way. Uh, Gabriel and Zamani, third defender. Gabriel, definitely. Oh, double up with what? Sorry, double up with White or Hedge with Van Dyke instead. Um, I'd probably go Van Dyke, I think. But to be honest, I quite like double Arsenal defence still. Who's better, Van Dyke or, or Ben White? I think Ben White might be better, honestly. Uh, Val, thank you very much. Double Arsenal defence or double Liverpool defence? I mean, it. <laughs> The thing is, if you if you told me Robertson and Trent definitely start twice, and I think you could make a case for double Liverpool, but overall I think double Arsenal. Uh, one of three, Haaland minus four, and Mateta or Zabani. Zabani, I think. Well, I will say, that, like I said earlier, I might like if we get Haaland news later, I might be in a position where I take a minus four from Mateta. I'm not saying I won't do it for sure. Um. Minus eight to get Bradley to Trent Van Dyke and Harlan to Mateta or be content with Bradley to Mikalenko Minos minus four. No bench, but I have a wild card game in 35. Mm, I'd probably just get Minos, I think, for the minus four. Uh, FSK are predicting habits to be benched. Do you agree? Uh, I know that Neil is very good at team news. Um, it, all I can say is it's possible that habits gets benched. Uh, I'd probably predict him to start, but they have played a lot of minutes recently. So, as I said earlier, it would be a shock if Saka and Odegaard didn't start. It wouldn't be a shock if Havertz didn't, in my opinion. Sell Tony for a hit or keep. Uh, sell for who? Darwin, Mateta, um, Solanke, whoever you haven't got. Uh, I would probably sell him for a hit, I think. I, look, Tony will probably start because it's been two weeks now since you know he's been in the squad and hasn't actually played. But it's not a guarantee based on what Thomas Frank said. I think I'd risk the hit. Sell Morris or Harlan for Mateta. Uh, Morris. Uh, you'll get one free transfer. Harlan to Darwin for free and play Zabani or Rico to Van Dyke and Harlan to Darwin minus four to bench. Nah, I'd probably just do the free move, I think. Robertson versus Van Dyke. If they both play, Robertson's better, but Van Dyke's safer. I, I, I think... The thing is, 
if Robertson does like Simicast isn't getting many minutes at the moment at all, right? So if Robertson doesn't play, that means Gomez has to play left back. Which means Trent would be right back. And then then in the next game, are we expecting Trent to start again? Like do oh, I think Robertson's gonna start twice, but I wasn't I wasn't confident enough to go for him. Because basically, if we don't think Simicast is gonna play one of Gomez, Robertson, or Trent's going to have to play twice. And I don't think it's going to be Gomez. So therefore, it's probably going to be Robertson. But could Simicast get minutes? <sighs> Possibly. Possibly. Van Dyke's definitely safer. On free hit, Van Dyke or Trent. Same thing. Uh, three Arsenal midfielder or two midfielder and one defender. Take you. I don't think either is bad. I mean, I would probably go two midfielders and one defender because I think there's a lot of other attackers that I would want. But either way is fine, honestly. Uh, he Chan to Eze or Haaland to Darwin or both for minus four. I'd just do Huang to Eze, I think. As a diehard Liverpool fan and the talk amongst our fan base, there is a very good chance Salah only starts one this double game week. I don't think that chance is that high, personally, but yeah, it's possible. I mean, you could say that about any player for that Liverpool team, I think, in attack or defence, apart from Van Dijk. Would you punt on Trent and Robertson on free hit? If you want to risk the minutes, you could go for that. Would I? Do I think I would be doing that if I was free hitting right now? Probably not. But I don't think it's terrible. I have Saliba, Gabriel, and Neto. Goalkeeper, Van Dijk, or, or Minos, uh Van Dijk, I think. I mean, I, went, I could have gone for Minos, and I went for Van Dijk. Uh, is there any double game week forwards except Solanke and Mateta can't be from Liverpool? I mean, Jesus is too much of a risk, I think. Sheffield United and McBurney, no chance for me. Um, and Cunha's obviously out, so not really. I would definitely be on 3-5-2 if I was free hitting, I think. Uh, I'm not bench boosting, no. I'm close to a bench boost, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no, there's no wait for Bradley. It's a shame. It's a shame Trent came back though. I'd, I would have loved Bradley to be in playing two and thirty-four. I'd be. I could have Mateta now instead of Haaland. And eleven double game because that would have been nice. Darwin or Mateta because Darwin has rotation risk. There you go. I still think I prefer Darwin, but um, you're right that Mateta is maybe a bit safer for minutes. Darwin has just had a rest, though. There, there is a chance that he plays twice. I mean, a lot of people obviously think he's going to get dropped because he's not played very well, but and Jota hasn't had a huge amount of minutes recently. Personally, I think that Jota and Darwin will get one start each, but we'll see. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pin all your hopes on Man City leaks, to be honest with you. Van Dijk's definitely safer, but played full 90 against Atalanta. Yeah, but he plays full 90 every single game. Um, Robertson's minutes are not better than Van Dyke's for the double. Now, that doesn't mean that Robertson won't start twice, but... Uh, need to bench one out of Sarabia, Harden, or Havertz. <sighs> Probably Harland. Play Mateta over Garnacho, but for a hit. I don't hate it, but I don't think you necessarily need to do it. I've got 10 double game week players and bench in Dubravka, Garnacho, Palmer, Regan. I want a bench boost. Bad idea. It's not a terrible idea, especially if you haven't got a wild card to set up one later on. Oh, but you've got 8 and Uri. See, 8 and Uri might not even play in either. I mean, he might get minutes off the bench, I guess. I, I probably wouldn't bench boost that. Not if you can set up a better one later. Yeah, like I keep saying, I, I think there's a good chance that Palmer starts twice and gets past 60 minutes in both games. I just wasn't willing to take the risk. What players would you have if you wildcard a game week 34? I'll be honest with you, I've I've not thought about wildcard 34 at all because it's just not very many people doing it. Um, so I'm not I'm not sure how much I can help you. Genuinely, I think it's quite a tough week to wildcard because you you don't want Spurs players, but you might want them next week. You know, I, I guess your bench would mostly be Chelsea. Thinking about it like off the off the cuff now, and I'd probably have maybe six to eight doublers for 34 and then the rest with an eye on 37 players like i don't know Isaac stuff like that i 
I think the, the thing to remember about any players you're now picking on free here, you're probably not going to get any more information than you already have. You already know all the info. Um, like, I don't know. Sometimes I think I, I do it as well. We wait for something to kind of change our minds, but there's, there's not going to be anything now. Like, you know what Liverpool players played on the Thursday. You know how many minutes they got. You know who's fit and, and that. And, you know, can anyone guarantee you two two starts from any defenders or attackers that aren't that aren't Van Dijk? No. But there are players that are more likely, like Robertson, Salah, etc. So take your pick. I think it's more I think it's more than fine to go to go Robertson on free hit. Feels like getting Isaac on wildcard 35 is being late to the game. Yeah, but there's just no point in worrying about stuff. Like, either Isaac's a good pick or he's not, right? If he's a good pick, you put him on there. If he's not, you don't. Thoughts on Havertz captaincy over Saka or Salah? I would have no interest in that whatsoever, to be honest. The other two are much more likely to start twice, and they're on penalties, etc. Havertz is fine, but... Oh my god, what are these numbers? Darwin and Lise data is 1.61 times Diaz and Mateta. On paper, they do the same in 60% of the minutes. Will they get 60% of their minutes? Uh, I think Darwin gets maybe 110. And Elise probably gets 120, 130, 240. Diaz maybe gets 130. Mateta probably gets 150, 280. Something like that, maybe ish. I mean, I, I'm I'm just talking off the top of my head, really. I haven't thought about it much more than that. But you're getting him at a higher EO. Yeah, uh, th those things just don't really worry me, to be honest. Opinion on Kivior, terrible option. Uh, or I, I would start eating Yuri over Kivior, but I think they're both not great this week. How many minutes does Salah get? 130, one, well, yeah, 130 to 150 probably. I think he'll get past 60 minutes in both games. I don't, I don't buy this. Like, he has not played well recently. I fully agree with that. I think the idea that... The thing, the thing you've got to ask yourself is, if he's not going to start one game, who's going to play instead of him? It, it could be someone like Harvey Elliott, right? He can play on the right. You're going for a title... Do you, bench, do you bench Salah? I mean, you could say that about all the first-choice Liverpool players. I get it. But Salah just feels like a little bit different, right? Uh, ain't Yuri Zabani or De Bruyne in your in non-free hit team? Uh, it feels wrong playing Zabani over De Bruyne, but I'd probably go Zabani. Uh, Anwar, one month. Thank you very much. Opinion on either Darwin or Gap? I definitely wouldn't go Gap, though. He'd be the one I'd be least sure about minutes and stuff. You predict 34% more minutes for Diaz and Mateta pair. They fall short. There you go. But obviously, my prediction could be completely wrong. <laughs> I, you know, Elise might only start once and get 10 minutes off the bench in the other one. Play Mateta over Garnacho, but for a hit. I already answered that one. Uh, I think you could do that, yeah, if you wanted to. Cunha was a huge mistake. Cost me eight points. Um, yeah, if you got him in early, that is a bit unlucky. I, I, it's always the risk with early transfers. That's not me saying you shouldn't do them because I, I make early transfers sometimes, but, you know, that's the risk you take, right? I mean, it, it's a bit unlucky with Cunha because it's just it's just an injury that's all of a sudden cut, almost come out of the blue, right? Um, you know, I think, I think he picked up the injury in the last game, but we didn't hear about it until yesterday. I mean, fair play, Gary O'Neill, because he was super open in that in that press conference. Uh, triple captain Salah this week or Palmer 34. I still back Salah, but let, let's be fair. The way the two are playing at the moment, Palmer might be the better option. Um, but, you know, maybe Salah will get a few penalties and, and job done. And that that's a bit harsh on Palmer because he has scored plenty outside of penalties, but I still go Salah, I think. Uh, is there a bit of, you know, um, I don't even know what the word is, but like, you know, historical bias or something, if you want to call it that, maybe. But I, I wouldn't be writing Salah off anytime soon. At least saying Ben White or Havertz and Minos. Uh, at least saying Ben White, I think. I I think Kunya will miss both games, yeah. Anyone else bricking it to leave the legend Palmer on the bench? I'm a little bit worried, yeah. Because his, his effective ownership will probably still be quite high.
Uh, defenders that aren't Arsenal, Liverpool and Palace on free here. I'd probably go Mikalenko or Tarkovsky maybe from Everton. Triple captain this week or wait for a better game week. Or depend what like what weeks you have free where you're not using chips. Personally, I would go Salah now, but uh, what about FPL challenge? Uh, I think I made a team the other day. I'll figure that out after this. No, no panic for me. My team's set. And barring any barring any last minute news. Um, I think whatever happens now, I'll probably just play Zabani over anyone else that gets injured, but I'm not completely ruling out a hit. I think the I think the correct play is probably just to play Zabani, but it's also not that exciting, so I may take the hit. Uh best keeper this week, Raya. Uh the only thing we saw on Brantford was yesterday and that he trained and they're gonna see how he reacts today after training. Took out Palmer last week for Havertz. Oh my days. Ouch. What did Havertz get? He blanked, didn't he? Yeah, he must have blanked because it was 2-0. Uh, is Debrauka De Rea for a minus four this week worth it? Could be worth it. I would probably do it, I think. Does ownership on the FPL site include free hits? Uh, I think so. Bench Foden and Palmer and go 4-3-3 playing Zabani or sell Palmer or Foden for Sarabia. I'd probably just play Zabani. Triple Captain Salah this week or, or 37 Harlan. I would just go Salah right now, personally. Uh, Faze, wildcard 36. Play Vardio and Aiton Yuri. Bench, Mengi and Van Heck allowing Odegaard to Son next week. We'll take a hit and do Vardio to Robertson. And Mengi to Munoz Mitchell. Deal with Son 35, Captain Park. Why don't you just wildcard game week 35? Would that not help? That not a bit easier. I mean, Vardio is okay. Eight Nuri, he's all right, I guess. Ah, oh, there, there goes my camera. I've got to change the battery on the camera, and my camera's just falling down. Give me two seconds, and I'll, I'll try and fix it. This is the, uh, this is the production that we have on this stream. And my camera battery just died. Oh. Right, one out. The thing is, if the next one dies, I've got to go to the bedroom to get the uh, last one. I'm a big face. Oh. Let's see how that looks. Ish. Everything's moved around. By your producer. Oh, I can't wait to get a new camera, honestly. There we go. Fiddle around with that a bit. Um, it's uh, you have a camera in the bedroom. No, I have a, I have a char I have a battery charging in the bedroom. Oh, much easier viewing without your face. That's harsh. It's like a dagger to my heart. That dagger to my heart. Um. Pretending to be Ross, huh? How does that work? I'll have a new camera on Monday and I'll be able to keep that in place. And I won't have to keep moving it. This one's a freaking nightmare. Um, I, I'm not going to go through my FPL challenge team now. I might show it at the end of the stream, but... um. Uh, what camera do I use? Well, I was using an, a Sony fifty one hundred, but it's kind of it's doing something called focus breathing apparently, which won't focus properly. Now I've got a ZV one, so that's what I'm using right now. It's just a backup. That I sometimes use for uh, out and about when I did a few videos, and uh, I've ordered a sixty four hundred, I think. Something. Like oh, the camera's moving! Look at it! Oh my days! The angle keeps changing. I'm getting a new green screen as well. That that could happen. When is the knee jerk stream? Oh geez, let's let's get the deadline stream out of the way first. Actually, yeah, be tomorrow knee jerk. Well, probably be tomorrow knee jerk stream. Yeah, it will be because I'll be on wildcard. Um, so I missed a. I was on a question. I think I've probably forgotten which one now. 
Um, Captain between Solanke, Darwin, or Eze. Eze, probably. Uh, and sound member for the 90 months. Thank you very much. Start which two? Debating whether to start Palmer, Harden, Foden, Zabani. I can start two. Uh, Harden and Zabani for me, I think. Foden or Palmer? <sighs> Palmer. Bench Palmer. That's a bit of recency bias, though. Bench Palmer, Izak, and eight Yuri Tarkovsky. Uh, I'd play Izak over Palmer and Tarkovsky over eight Yuri, if that's the question. Triple Captain Eze, if you want to. Yeah. Worth doing Poro and Palmer to Robertson and Elise or Saliba and Eze minus four. I do Robertson and Elise, I think. Especially if you're wildcard next week. If it all goes wrong, at least you've got your wildcard. Defender to bring in this week Van Dyke, Gabriel, Ben White, Saliba, Robertson, Munoz, one of those. Uh, Havertz and Robertson or White and Luis Diaz. White and Luis Diaz, I think, is a bit safer, but uh, I quite like Robertson and Havertz, got to be honest. Sarabia for Konza for an additional minus four. Probably not. Who will play left back for Arsenal both games? I mean, presumably Zinchenko will play at least one. Tommy Asu could come in. Um, it could just be Zinchenko twice. I basically wouldn't bother with the Arsenal left back. Saliba versus Gabriel. Saliba's actually lower owned at this point. Gabriel, a little bit more goal threat. Why Henderson over Neto? Uh, Fixtures, basically. Uh, Matthew Men for 20 months. Thank you very much. On wildcard next week, would you take a minus four to Harden to Mateta? Mm, I could do that, and I'm not going to do that. So I guess that answers the question. And would you play Aiton Euro Zabani or take a hit to remove Zabani? Uh, Zabani, and not no hit. Bench three, Maguire, Garnacho, Minoz, Zabani, Palmer. I'd play the two double game weekers and probably Palmer. Gully, thank you very much. Play Maguire or Aiton Yuri. Probably, maybe even Maguire at this point, honestly. Aiton Yuri might not start either game. I don't know. He might start Bournemouth. It's risky, though. If I had them both, I'd probably play Aiton Yuri. But I think the right answer might end up being Maguire. Uh, Dubravka to a double game week goalkeeper from minus four. I'd probably do that, but there's no, there's no like pressing need to do it. You don't have to. Play Zabani or Regulon. I'd go the double game weaker. Personally. Uh, we've got 36 minutes. I don't think this battery is going to last. I'm going to have to go and get the third one, I think. Oh, Ross's camera goes off. Now. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so, so I've got, I don't know, I don't think I can, oh yeah, I can. So this is like a, this is a dummy battery. You see it's got a lead, so it goes into the main. So my, that's why the other camera never shuts off. Um, but that dummy battery doesn't work with this camera. Hope, I'm hoping the new one does, because I haven't ordered a separate dummy, ba uh, dummy battery. Otherwise, it'll be a few more days till I get it. Uh, is Semenyo playing? He might do. I, I definitely wouldn't transfer him in. Start Zabani or Vardio. I go Zabani, I think. Neto seems to have better fixtures for me. I mean, they're both away, though, aren't they? Um, I mean, Neto's fine. On, honestly, I would not be surprised if Neto outscores Henderson, and that would do my head in because I've spent a transfer to, to not play him. But I think if I was free hitting, I'd prefer Henderson over Neto, right? I mean, Villa's not an easy fixture. Wolves away, is it easier than West Ham at home? I believe it's the same battery. I say. Yeah, I, I looked up a dummy battery that I ordered before, like that one, and it said it works with the A6400, so it should be good. Just getting you. No, the, the battery's not the problem. My old camera is broken. And this camera's a pain in the ass because you have to keep changing the battery. That's, that's annoying when you record videos. Uh, Can you to Mateta for a minus four or just play Zabani? I think the right answer is play Zabani, but I think if I was I think if I was in that position, I'd take the minus four because his attackers are just more exciting. Uh, play Tony or Palmer. Probably Palmer just because Tony's a little bit of a, of a worry. Uh, double arse or defense or attack. I'd probably go double attack, but double defense is more than fine if you're happy with your current attack. One free transfer to Bravka to Hendo next week is wildcard. Yeah, don't mind that. Uh, buy one of Luis Diaz, Havertz, Eze. I'm going to say Eze out of those. I sold Son LaSalle to Foden, Vardio last week because of the leaks. Foden was a flop. Vardio, yeah, nice. Vardio was good. Very good. That's the thing. If we get leaks, who, are people going to believe them? Are people even going to believe them? It'd be funny if the Foden leak comes out. Do -do -do -do. 
do some of those walking videos. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna switch up my FPL content. I don't think. I might, I might do set a different kind of video, but not FPL. Not out and about FPL. Would it be a huge mistake if I sell Salah for for Eze or Saka? I mean, it might not be. I, I wouldn't do it. I don't think. Minus twelve to bench boost. No. Will Kivio Kivio play or not? Get rid of Kivio. Honestly, stop holding out hope with Kivio. Could he play one of the games? Maybe, but I I, I wouldn't put much money on it. Also, buzzing the other football channel is back. Thanks. Um, I am definitely not a master of football by any chance, but if the channel does well, great. If it doesn't. I uh it's it's no skin off my nose really, so I just I just do it when I've got time. See how it goes. Maybe get some thumbnails at some point. So ten double gaming players in Hoyland. Nice. I mean I've got ten double gaming players in Harlan. It's I've actually got thirteen double gaming players with two are on the bench. Uh I can put I can put the link to the other channel here. Hang on a sec. Uh let me just find it. There's only like three videos up there now. I deleted all the other ones. I don't know if I actually deleted them or, or just hid, hid them. But um, this is the. It's not working. Why is... Oh, <laughs> there we go. Pro club? No, I won't be doing pro clubs. No interest in that, to be honest. Not that I've ever properly played it. Uh, captain between Sarabia and Eze for differential. I mean, 100% Eze out of the two. The thing is, Zabani, uh, sorry, Saliba, <laughs> Sarabia, um, you know, as long as he's fit enough to play both, then he probably will start both and get 60 plus minutes. But who's going to be around him, you know? He would be on penalties, though. Wildcard 35, already on a minus four. Do you think Zabani to Robertson's worth another hit? Probably not. No cards left. Watkins long term or Darwin minus four. Probably Watkins, honestly. When to bench boost, I still have wild cards to play. Probably 37. Buy one of. Oh, I did that one. Havertz. Uh, sorry, Eze. Do you reckon we will do you reckon we will know whether Harden is in the squad before the deadline? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, people will have the team, so it's possible, but um, certainly not a guarantee. People's opinions on Havertz in both FPL and in general are so funny. He goes from being the worst thing ever to the best thing and back again. I think Havertz is just a good pick, really. Nothing more than that. I don't think he's better than Saka, for example. I'm not asking for Arsenal news. Do I think Garnacho will play? Yes. And there's lot, so many questions about Kivior. Get rid of him. Get rid of Kivior. Do I think Ben White will start both games? Probably, yeah. When did everyone buy Kivior? Did he get like a 15-pointer at some point? He started like two or three games in a row, didn't he? Keller to Henderson and eight Yuri to Van Dyke from minus eight. I probably would, yeah. Start eight Euro Palmer, probably Palmer. Uh, I think Mateta is better than Harden this week, yes. Who am I afraid of not owning this week? I mean, any I don't know, any of the you know main attack Mateta, Elise, Diaz, Habits, Odegaard, they could all do really well. Um Trent if he starts twice. Definitely. I'm very afraid of Neto on my bench <laughs> when I when I because I mean make using a transfer luxury or, or not to bench a double game week uh, just it just it can go so wrong and you just look so stupid even though I bet I don't know 80% of Neto owners would swap to Henderson if I just said right now it won't cost you any transfers won't affect anything else later on you know if whatever you could just get Henderson in for this week instead of Neto. I think they would take it at least 80%. But, you know, it doesn't always work out like that. And Neto could outscore him. 
Uh, I'm not bringing him a test because I've got no more free. Oh, come on. Seriously. I've only got one more battery charged. I'm going to I'm gonna have to go to the bedroom and get the battery. You have to give me a sec. Hello. Oh, they can hear. Me. Well, they can hear. I need to uh, to charge the other one. Right, I'm just plugging the camera back in. Hang on. I don't think this is going to last the rest of the stream. 28 minutes. This this battery's only been charging. I don't know. I don't think it's going to last. Oh, I do have... Hang on. I do have one more option, actually. Hang on. Do you know what? I've got a potential fix. It's going to be rubbish quality. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, let me try this a second. Uh, get rid of. Hang on. Where? Ah, come on. Where is it? Video capture. There we go. Is this gonna work? Nope. Well, that's great. Oh, I've got another webcam plugged in, but it's not working. Sugar, hang on. Well, this is terrible. I've actually got another battery, I've just realized. I'm not on a laptop. Hang on a sec. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Why is this not working now? I'm trying this other ca webcam one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm I'm giving up. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay. Once again, is it a different angle? Uh, ankle? Different angle. Oh, my head's not even. No, my head's cut off because of the angle it's at. Freaking ridiculous. I can't bother to move it now. Um, right. Apologies for that. How many people just logged off? A ton of them, probably. Uh, okay. I've I've ordered a new camera. I've ordered one. Um. Anyway, hopefully that camera, hopefully that battery's okay now. Will it last twenty four minutes? I don't know. Uh, I'm not even sure where I got up to. And loads of questions came in. <clears throat> so I'll be in for hit or just play Palmer? Just play Palmer. Wild card worth it this week? Probably not. Depends out what state your team is in. Take a minus four to bench. Who's Neto, Harlan, Zabani, and Brantwaite. I probably wouldn't. 
Take a minus four to not play Zabani. Probably not. Sell Aiton Yuri for a hit and just or just play Kirkes. Oh, do you know what? I'd be tempted to take Kirkes risk. I'm on bench who's have 15 double game weeks, including eight Yuri. Would you sell knowing that it's one less? I'd probably sell, yeah. Munoz, maybe. Bradley to Munoz and Meniz to Nunez for minus four. Or Bradley to Van Dyke and Meniz to Mateta for minus four. Uh, probably the latter. I don't think you need to take Harlan out as part of a minus eight, though. Phone into Eze if wildcard in 35 or upgrade 8 Nuri. I think 8 Nuri is more important to upgrade, but honestly, if you're just playing one of Foden or 8 Nuri, then 8 Nuri, if Foden to Eze is fine. Uh, Viz Academy, um, member 14 months, thank you very much. Got Neto, Gabriel, 8 Nuri, and Zabani starting. Worth a minus 4 for Van Dyke and Ben White in. Uh, I would just do one for 8 Nuri, I think. Yeah. Biggest double game week in the camera shenanigans was the uh, most interesting bit. Yeah, it's really annoying. And the thing is, the webcam I've got is just not. I've got I've got my old webcam, like super old. Like the quality is terrible. It's from when I first started making videos, but it's just not powering on when I plug it in. So I, that's probably broken too. I've I've I, basically I've got so many cameras that I've ordered a new one and I've ordered a, like a, a decent webcam as well separate just as a backup or for when I travel uh, or maybe when I do the FPL show as well because I might start doing that not from here but anyway uh, Stranger Man thirty two months thank you very much would you bench boost the Bravka Zabani Palmer Gusto no I don't think so I mean any question about would you bench boost really depends. You know, if you don't bench boost now, when are you going to have a better bench? If you're never going to have another bench, a better bench, sorry, not another bench, then you could always do it, but otherwise, probably not for something like that. We should take a minus four for a new camera. I would, honestly. I would have paid extra to get it in quicker, but the quickest I could get it was Monday. Uh, ain't Yuri to Van Dyke or Ben White minus four? I'm going to say Van Dyke. You know, I'm, do you know what? I'm going to say Ben White. I'm going to say Ben White. I'm going to trust the Arsenal defence. Uh, Martin, thank you very much. Elise and Trent or Minos and Jota Diaz. I go Elise and Trent, I think, as a punt. Only because I don't think Jota or Diaz is a minute to secure either. I prefer Elise. Uh, you don't need Trent and Robbo, but I quite like it, to be honest. Here on 18 months, thank you very much. You almost gave an exclusive there to finish it. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Palmer to Elise, minus four. Can't do Eze. Or start Garnacho. Or, or start Palmer. Um, uh, I, I don't think I would minus four that, personally. Zinchenko, thoughts on probability to start both games? Not enough to go for, honestly. I would just go Ben White if you want to go something a bit different in the Arsenal defence. What do I think of FPL Challenge? I think it's fine. Like, I don't mind playing it. I, I wouldn't be... I mean, if if next week they said, do you know what, we're actually not going to do FPL Challenge anymore, I don't think I would... I wouldn't be that bothered. Oh, exclusive about doing the FPL show, not from home. No, I just mean not from the office here. Because the thing, I, I don't want to bore you with my setup, but basically the angles aren't great when I do the FPL show compared to how I do my videos. Um, so I might just do it on my laptop in the kitchen. That, that, that's the exclusive. I basically, I've bought, I've bought a, a mirrorless camera as a webcam, but I've also bought a webcam as well. Uh, only 20 minutes, by the way, to get your teams absolutely locked in. Before you do that, make sure to give the uh, stream a like. Hit that subscribe button as well. Um, we are getting closer to 398k. If we could hit 398k today, then we'd only need 500 a week. Uh, yeah, 500 a week for the last four games to hit 400k before the end of the season. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that button. That would be uh, very much appreciated.
Tony Starr for a minus four. I think I would do that, yeah. Could obviously go wrong, but I think I would do it. I mean, buying Darwin always goes well, so hopefully it'll be okay. I uh, have seven double gaming players, no more free trances left. Do I want to take a 16 point hit to get 11? When are you wildcarding, though? Two 28 point hits and bench roots. What? I would probably just play seven double game weekers, especially if you've got no wild card left, because otherwise you just hurt your team for the rest of the the weeks. Uh, Kimmy, thank you very much. Am I bench boosting? Nope. I'm going to stick to the plan and I'm going to bench boost in game week 37. It's going to go terribly. I'm going to I'm going to have to like basically I'm going to activate my wild card then have to buy like second and third Spurs players, second and third Chelsea players, Man United players. It's going to be terrible. It's going to go really bad. I'll probably finish outside of the top 100k. Uh start Semenyo or Palmer. I'd risk Semenyo, I think. Differential captain Saka Eze. Havertz not spotted in training pictures. Ooh. The thing is, with Arsenal, it's not necessarily always a bad thing. Do, 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 do. Going Havertz captain over Salah in order to catch a middle league rival. He's likely to have set... No, I, I think it's risky. I wouldn't do it. You can catch them with, with normal captains still, especially if you're going to have more double gaming because you're on free hit. They might take hits and stuff. Plenty of ways to catch up points. Depends how far behind you are, I guess. On bench boost, would you do Mateta or Izak? Mateta. Oh, okay. No other chips, probably Izak. That was just the pictures. Habits did actually train. Okay. Is that true, though? How do we know that if there was no pictures? Should I triple captain Salah? I probably would if I had the chip left. Oh, Havertz was spotted in the background in one picture that was quite blurry. How are they spotted him though if it's blurry? Feeling. Why play Harlan, not Palmer? Palmer's better. Uh, Harlan's better, sorry. Uh, Wildcard 35, like you, so tempted on Harlan to Mateta or Ariola to Pickford for minus four. But why do we think Palace is suddenly going to light up the league? We don't. We just think they've got two good fixtures, really. Uh, sorry if there's already been asked, working and just tuned in. Triple on Salah, is there a better option? Or a few? I mean, basically, most people's options are Salah this week, Palmer or Son in 35, Son or Harden in 37. I would prefer to just go now while you know that Salah's fit. I mean, some people are saying that he may only start one game. I guess it's a possibility. I don't think it's a very high possibility, but there's a chance. Uh, would you use second free transfer on Kelleher to Henderson Pickford or just play Anana? Would like you mean a minus eight next week? Probably just play Anana. Mateta Havertz Robertson versus Darwin to Corey Gabriel. The former, I think. 70 points behind. I mean, you could go differential. I, I don't know if Havertz is the way. Like, maybe, I prefer to go Saka, especially if they're going to go Salah. Thoughts on the war within Alpha? I, I don't really look at that stuff, to be honest. Um, like last expansion, I didn't read up anything. Just wait until it's there. I, might, I haven't been playing the last few weeks. I might get playing back this week because season four is out, right? Uh, Son and Bradley to Eze and Van Dyke. Let me just get... Do, do, do. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, hang on. That's interesting. Uh, Son and Bradley to Eze and Van Dyke or Trent? Uh, I went Eze and Van Dyke. If you want to risk Trent, go for it. Don't mind that at all. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting, right? I, I don't know if we've always been able to do this, but if one of you... So every time you put a message in the chat, YouTube must track it. So if I click on someone and go to channel activity, it tells me all their questions and comments. Um, That could be hilarious. I wonder if... Uh, do you know what? I wish I'd known that back after free hit 29 went badly. I bet I would have caught some hindsight merchants who weren't saying anything before. Bear that in mind. Bear that in mind now. I can see if you're a hindsight merchant. Although it only tracks the live stream comments by the looks of it. Um, Not everything, so you're probably all right. 
<laughs> Does Brantwaite start? Uh, I think there's a chance he starts, yes. A, a good-ish chance. Uh, Pickford and Luis Diaz or Allison and Brereton Diaz? I go for the former with Pickford. On bench, we have both Brantwaite and Aiton Uri. Would you take a hit to get one of them out? Would you keep both? A hit for Aiton Uri, I think. From before, do you take minus... Do you take minus fours and have all players double game it or, or play the seven I have? I'm dead ending to wild card. Oh, in that case, I'd probably take a couple of hits. But I wouldn't take however many you said before. You don't have to get to 11. I mean, it depends who you're selling, right? Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't take whatever crazy hit it was to bench boost. You can just bench boost after your wild card. Wild card 35, which would you prefer? Take a minus eight hit for Mateta, Eze, Havertz, Van Dyke, or take a four point hit for no Van Dyke? Uh, regular on against Luton away and Foden. Uh, I'd maybe take the minus eight in that case without without having obviously given it too much thought. Well, I'm going to find the hindsight merchants now. The only thing is, maybe, I mean, I know that more people watch the deadline streams instead of the knee joke. Oh, no. Yeah, it does show me it from other streams. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to catch someone out eventually, and it's going to be a good day. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm, I'm watching you from a bad angle because my camera's freaking all over the place. Uh, play eight euro Palmer. I think I just play Palmer. Uh, do you know what? I don't mind the minus four for Van Dyke. God, I tell you what. Palmer's going to score any against Arsenal. He's going to wipe the clean sheet, and we're all going to regret selling him or benching him. Uh, got as a he chan. To someone or Archer to Darwin Mateta for minus four. Uh, probably Archer to, to Darwin, I think, for me. It's not about making Game Week 29 better. It's about finding someone that afterwards says, Oh, I can't remember. I, I can't believe you went for that. It was always going to be terrible. And then seeing their comment from before, not a word, not a word on how bad it was going to be. Do, 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 do. The thing is now I can't answer any questions because I'm looking back on people's chats thinking, oh yeah, oh yeah. Luckily, uh, most people are sound, so no issues. Um, Zabani and Darwin or Van Dyke and Mateta? Van Dyke and Mateta, I think. If the Van Dyke route, would you take Robertson over him? I went Van Dyke, so but you could go Robertson, yeah. Odegaard or, or Havertz. Havertz, I, I I prefer Havertz, but Odegaard is definitely safer. Like Van Dyke and Odegaard are your safe picks. Robertson and Havertz, a little less so. Appearance points counts to maximum forty four this week. Yeah, yeah, double game weeks are beautiful. Uh, Tarek Mo, thank you very much. Kevin, play Palmer or Gordon? I think Palmer. <laughs> um, it was annoying when the camera goes down, though. But but these things happen. I've got one more battery, and we should be good. I've only got 10 minutes to go. Hopefully, the current battery can hold out. Do I use benches? I haven't used it yet, um, but I will use it in Game Week 37. I suspect it's going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. Uh, I went for Van Dyke because I'm boring and I wanted the player that's going to play twice. Um, I didn't add the cojones to go for Trent or Robertson. Captain Darwin, I wouldn't have much interest in that. Mostly a, mostly a minutes thing. Why not use your bench views? Because someone like, again, Harlem, we don't know whether he's fit or not. And if he's not, someone has to come off the bench. Therefore, I've only got three players on my bench views. Palmer could get injured in the FA Cup. I'd, I'd just rather do it in 37. I feel like I've gotten away with it enough. Like I've gotten away with injuries and suspensions over the last few weeks to the point where I can put out a pretty good team without any hit. I did take a hit for Salah back in 31, but outside of that, no hit since... Game week 28. Um, I, I don't want to push it and also go for the bench. It feels like greedy. I, I just not, I'm not quite, quite there enough. I don't think. 
Oh, what's going on now? Oh my god, everything's breaking. Now the chat's just gone. Has the internet gone down? No, I don't think it has. YouTube's just crashed on me though. Okay. <laughs> We're back up. Honestly, get this stream get this stream over with. It's not going well for me at all. Um Mitchell or Zinchenko Mitchell, Elise or Darwin. I say Elise. I'm gonna say Elise. Am I fully confident in that? Not really. Do, 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 do. Leak is hesitant because of last week. I just think the game is not until later on, right? Like, people are hoping for Arsenal leaks. They're not playing until half seven. People are hoping for Man City leaks. They're not playing until later in the FA Cup. Like, it's not like they're playing at three, you know? I think the, I think the match is half five, right? Uh, quarter past five. Honestly, if you want to go for Trent, go for Trent. I, I don't I don't think it's terrible at all. Um I just um I just wanted to go for the players that are gonna play twice. <laughs> That's about it really. And I'm pretty confident with most of my team, not all of them, but most of them. Was completely sure about his minutes. If Saka won't rest a minute, why does have it? Yeah, that's what I said earlier, right? Like, but that, that just happens a lot. There's lots of players that get a rest before others. Like, Saka and Odegaard just... I mean, Saka and Odegaard have had one, by the way. Uh, sorry, Saka has. He got rested against Luton. Havertz didn't. And neither did Odegaard. So, Saka's had a rest. Uh, any Garnacho news? Only that um, they're going to move on. He's, he's unliked the tweet. So, I don't think there's going to be any major issues from that. Otherwise, no, like, no team news or anything. What software do I use for my videos? Uh, OBS, Sony Vegas, Photoshop. Saka has an ongoing injury. He also has a title race to win. Do do do. I'm a hindsight merchant. Check, check my chat. Good one. That's a good one. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. Let's go back here. Am I keeping Haaland? Uh, yes. Isaac to Mateta and Dubravka to Rare for a minus four. Maybe if you're wildcarding at 35. No, I'm saying Havertz might rest. Saka probably almost certainly won't. Uh, as I've said about five times in this stream, I think it would be a shock. Maybe not five, actually. Maybe like two or three. I think it would be a shock if Saka was rested. It wouldn't be a shock if Havertz was. That's that's my kind of that's my kind of thoughts on it. Does that mean Havertz does get a rest? No, not necessarily. He's played a lot of minutes, and that might continue. Um, But I, I don't think it would be as big a shock as if Odegaard or Saka missed out. I mean, that's all you're ever doing in FPL, right? You're trying to guess the minutes and how likely something is. Like, if you're worried that much about habits, you probably shouldn't buy them. As long as as long as there's a different player that you want instead, which maybe there isn't. In which case, just risk it on habits. He plays to buy on Wildcard 35. Ah, oh, I'm not getting into that now. We'll talk about it next week. Uh, Dubravka almost certainly won't be on the Wildcard, no. Um, I think uh, I think there's three other Newcastle players that I'll probably want, basically. Maybe if we get news that Pope is completely ruled out for the season, I'll think about Dubravka. Uh, would I put Habits on free here? Probably. Uh, I can't remember how my team was set up now. The thing is, if I dropped Habits, I'm probably then looking to get Diaz in, maybe. Then is he any better? Like who is a bet? Like I, I would maybe I'd just go to Odegaard to be honest. You, you're not going to get Arsenal leaks from me. Uh, Zabani or Aint Yuri? Zabani, Foden or Haaland? Haaland. Uh, heard some people predicting that Gabriel may get a rest against Wolves, not based on any reliable leaks or anything. But if Wolves are decimated and he's carrying a knock, then maybe an early sub. Uh, it's possible. Yeah, I mean he like, again. I'm not. I, I can't sit here and tell you. Um, I, I can't sit here and tell you that 
Gabriel is definitely not going to get rested. It's possible. I don't think it's that likely based on what we've seen. And also, where's this knock stuff come from? I don't think he's carrying a knock, is he? Do we hear anything about that? Yeah, title race probably will go to the final day yet. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, is Cavalier an option? Not for me. Too too risky. Fitness is always a worry with Calvert Lewin. Start so Branthwaite and Yuri Maguire. Uh, I think I'd go Branthwaite and risk it. Semenya or Harlan? Oof, I'd probably go Harlan, but um, yeah, tricky one that. Bench one, Meniz or Palmer? Uh, Meniz, I think. All right, you've only got three and a half minutes to get your moves locked in. Those on free here, make sure you're pretty settled on the draft. Don't um, don't risk it. Don't risk it. Hey, what is wrong with you? Bench Pickford or Henderson? Oof, probably Pickford. It's quite close, though. Defense is Gabriel, Aint, Yuri, Brantford, Zabani, and Bradley. Neto and Goal, not free transfers. Start in the first three. Keep or minus four? Uh, I would sell Aint, Yuri for a hit. Oh, no, I would just play Zabani, Brantford, and Gabriel, probably. And that'd be okay. You're pressing the wildcard button right after that. Well, unfortunately, you won't be able to. His FPL will be down. You probably have to come back about half an hour later or so. You have to turn around, but I will be activating today. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason to hold it any longer. I think I'm, I think I'm activating it today anyway. Um, hang on a sec. I'm just checking, I got my team set. Captain Salah, vice captain Saka, Zabani first bench ahead of Palmer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've not seen any news on on Tony. I, I think I've said this. Um, I I think I would probably just sell him. I, I just don't think it's worth this headache every week, to be honest. E even for a hit, for a double game week, I'd be tempted to do it. Like Tony's one of those annoying ones because if he does start, he could do really well. But I feel like we've been saying that the last couple of weeks. Hoping to make up some of the 70 points in mini league. Plenty of time. Well, we're running out of time, if I'm honest, but you never know. You never know. Uh, one and a half minutes left. Don't put any more super chats in now. We're getting to bi the business end of the deadline stream. Okay. Can, can my camera last another couple of minutes? That is my team locked in. There's no issues there, is there? Uh, Fry, thank you very much. Uh, what the hell has happened here? I'll tell you, something dodgy's going on. The FPL... Has the FPL just died for anyone else? I think FPL might be down. I think FPL's down. It's not loading. <laughs> um, I hope you've locked your decisions in. I w oh, there we go. It just loaded there. Very slow. I, I wouldn't risk anything now if I was you. Back up. It's just come back up now. It's very slow for me. Okay. Hurry up. You've got 30 seconds to lock your stuff in. Habits owners, if you're not sure and you and you don't want to risk it, go Odegaard. If you don't want to if you don't want to mess around with the rest of the team, go Odegaard or something instead. Uh, if in doubt, go for the player that you know is going to start, I would say. It'd be funny now if Habits starts twice and Odegaard gets a rest. Um yeah, we're locked in. I'm locked in. We haven't had a website crash for a while. Yeah, it's, re it's really slow now. I'm just refreshing it. <clears throat> oh, press sold Harland. Interesting. He's risking Chris Richards. Intr oh, my camera's gone again. Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. Okay. 
Okay, let me just change this one last time. I can't remember if this is an old batch or a new one. Right, I'm not. I'm not sure how long this batch is going to last. Now, but I'm. Uh, I'm done with this stream. It just hasn't gone well at all. Um, hopefully, you got your your transfers locked in. It's been a long time since we had any wild card, uh, any website crashes like that and stuff like that. Um, if you have enjoyed that stream, before you all run off, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 398k before the end of today. Probably not going to happen, but we can try. Right, we can try. Uh, probably mostly, um, I'll probably mostly wildcard today yeah, at some point. You click save at 59 seconds. Nice. Charge the camera for the ninja. I've charged all the batteries. It's just, it just eats through them. It just absolutely eats through them. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, hit that subscribe button. Good luck this weekend. And I'll hopefully catch you tomorrow for the knee jerk stream. If I can't do that, there is a chance I won't be able to do the knee jerk stream tomorrow. Not a guarantee, but it's it's possible. Um, but if not, there'll be videos all week as normal. I'll do a wild card video on Monday. So we're all good in that regard. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekends. Good luck this week. And I will catch you again, hopefully tomorrow, if not Monday.